guys and welcome back to my channel so i actually got tagged on twitter to go ahead and do the farewell sims 3 tag and i got tagged by i think her name is Alyssa astrid and i'm i know that sounds like a swear word but i promise i'm not even trying to go there i do think i was tagged by a few other people as well but i can't remember their names off the top of my head um but yeah i've been kind of putting this off and Alyssa has definitely been you know jen hey i tagged you jen hey i tagged you <laughs> and the reason why i've been putting this off is because in all honesty i do not want to admit that the sims 3 is coming to an end like it's just it's kind of it's sad it's sad it is it's sad and uh yeah i mean i've definitely been kind of staying away from the sims 4 like i barely even have watched any of like the gameplays or any like screenshots i mean i'm very very vague and the reason for that being is because i do not or i did not want to lose interest in the sims 3 which in return would mean i wouldn't even want to do sims 3 lps and i definitely wanted to keep doing those for you guys so i totally kind of kept myself um away from it and now that i am finally getting interested in it meaning like i'm looking at gameplays and stuff like that it's actually making me not want to play the sims 3 which is craziness but i still love the sims 3 so that's just kind of why I haven't had a lot to say about The Sims 4 because that's just my way of keeping interested because you don't know what you're missing until you know what you're missing. So, anywho, I do actually have another Sims 3 tag from when I first kind of started doing this whole LP ing gig so if you want to check that out you can um, do so the link will be in the description bar below and um, I also show my face in that one so Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in to Z tag. First question, when did you start playing The Sims 3? I started playing The Sims 3 in 2009. Wow, I was 19 years old. How crazy. Um, Jeez, time flash. Uh, and I played it like the day it came out, like the moment it came out. I was so freaking, super freaking, freaking excited that I actually took pictures of the loading screen and I did a whole bunch of crazy things. I actually might even have pictures somewhere around. I don't know, but <laughs> definitely been playing it since it came out. Question number two. What do you like most about The Sims 3? I like the um, realism of The Sims 3. I love the open world of The Sims 3. I like that you can go anywhere without a loading screen. Granted, you do have lag, but I also like that... Um, it feels so real. Like you could truly submerse yourself in that game and it kind of feels like you're in a whole different world via a computer screen. So I think the the landscaping and, and the realism of The Sims 3 is what I love the most. So question numero tres. What? What the hell? Oh, Jesus. I hear a military jet. And my gato loco is licking his crotch and he officially stopped that crap. Anyways, can you guys hear it? <gasps> ah! I live like by Boeing, kind of. <laughs> so it's a little crazy. Sometimes it gets scared. Okay, anyway, what do you spend? Um, what do you, what, oh, what did? I still do boo boo. What did you spend most of your time doing in The Sims 3? LPs. But besides LPs, I spent probably more time creating Sims and ruining lives, actually. I think that's what I did the most of. <laughs> um, one thing you won't forget about the Sims 3, uh, everything I won't forget. Uh, gosh, I really don't have anything off the top of my head of what I, I what I wouldn't forget, won't forget. Um, the color wheels, yeah, the color wheel, like being able to pick your own color and make everything match, even though sometimes that was the most complicated thing ever. And for indecisive people like me, that was like death, dude. So probably won't miss or won't forget the color wheels. I'll miss them, but I won't forget them. One thing that annoyed you the most in The Sims 3, The Sims 3, can you all say it with me? Lag. I freaking hate lag. And lag was in The Sims 2, The Sims 1 when my computer was crap. Um, gosh, the lag is everywhere, so I mean, I guess I won't miss it that, or I won't be annoyed by it that much, right? Um, because it's probably going to be in The Sims 4 too, so. The, the thing that annoyed me was lag, and then, okay, something that was fixed by The Sims 4, I think, if they still included it, um, I would definitely say the routing issues where The Sims get stuck, that pisses me off, like when they're all sitting there tapping their feet like little tap dances at the top of the stairs because nobody wants to go, that's probably... 
Um, one of the most annoying things besides lag that pissed me off in The Sims 3. How has The Sims 3 impacted your life? Brilliant question, my friends. Oh my god. Um, the Sims 3 has impacted my life because it saved me from times where I was, you know, going through hard times in my, my personal life, my family life. It had given me an outlet to release my creativity. Um, it gave me an outlet to just kind of be me and, and live out different storylines and things that I wanted to do. Like, just kind of give me this other sense of, not, not a different life almost, but I feel like it just gave me, it fulfilled my, my, my needs to, um, experience different things in life. And I know that that's no substitute, but I mean, like, you know, just, just playing different people and playing different lives and getting so caught up in it. And just, it just gave me an opportunity to express myself in ways that I couldn't possibly do in my real life you know, situation, I guess. And that's kind of strange. And with YouTube, even, it gave it, The Sims 3 allowed me to meet all of you guys. My kid is seriously screaming. All of you guys on YouTube. And it gave me an opportunity to meet new friends and to create something so amazing, which is my channel. And then with you guys, we created something even better. And God, the, the, seriously, The Sims 3 has impacted my life so much that I can't even freaking put it in words, you guys. I like, I, it, it seriously has made my life so much more beautiful and so much more colorful. And I absolutely, 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 absolutely love The Sims. Like, it's just, it's crazy what a game can do. But uh, I don't know. I just, it just impacted my life so much. And um, it's kind of crazy. So anyway, the last question that I have for you guys is, will you be playing The Sims 3 after the release of The Sims 4? Yes, I will be. Um, just because I, I've noticed some things in The Sims 4 that obviously can't be fulfilled. Um and The Sims 3 does that. So I think that I will still be playing The Sims 3. I know I will definitely, I mean, if, even if I don't play it in my personal life, I will definitely be um, playing it and finishing up my LPs that I have told you guys about, like my um, my challenges. So the ones I'll be finishing will be Babies and Legacy. Those will be getting finished up. God, we'll be here until I'm a grandmother. Um, but those will, um, I'll play those until either you guys get bored of them or until we finish them, whatever happens first. Um, and then I'll still be doing The Sims 2. And then I will be creating new Sims for The Sims 4. I already told you guys that. And you guys will see later on, like down the road, the return of the Springston. So hopefully that answers a couple of questions. So I think that was all seven questions. I'm going to go ahead and tag iPod Zeke. I'm going to tag my Sims, Sim Sugar. <laughs> inside joke uh let me see who else i'm going to tag oh god i don't know who off the top of my head um i'm probably saying this wrong and she's probably gonna smack me but kaylee sims <laughs> sorry girl i don't know how to pronounce your name correctly um natasha i uh, i do believe that's your name so hopefully we got it right somewhere in there and I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to tag. So just those four people for now. Um, and then if I think of anyone else, I'll link you guys down below. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this tag. I seriously cannot wait for The Sims 4. Um, I can't believe it didn't ask you what do you think about The Sims 4. But I can't wait to play it personally. I guess bonus question. Um, I'm really, really excited to create new Sims, create new stories. I'm a little worried at the same time, you know, trying something new. I'm a creature of habit. I don't really like that. Um, I'm a little worried about the game, to, uh, that it's going to not live up to my expectations since it is a whole new you know whole new game but i'm being optimistic i'm being positive and i'm just really freaking excited to get my hands on it next week um fyi little bonus information here i will be doing an actual um physical copy giveaway of the sims 4 i don't know if i'm going to be doing this giveaway on facebook and twitter because of the whole rules via youtube but i know that i will so once i can actually get my hands on a physical copy that is when i will be doing the giveaway so um, i'm not sure if it'll be right away or you know like a weekend or whatever but as soon as i can definitely as soon as um, i can from the release date because that makes the absolute most sense so if you guys are definitely interested in that just stay tuned for that and i think 
think that's about it. Yeah, sure. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, like I said, 25 times. And uh, I will um, I will see you guys later. I love you so freaking much to the stars, the moon, and back in my little tiny itty-bitty rocket ship. You guys, seriously, oh, you're like the sugar to my to my iced tea. I don't know. That was corny, but it works. Anyways, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next Let's Play. Yeah, okay. All right. See you later. Bye. Later. Gator. <laughs> Bye, guys.